Hey guys, how you all doing? Uh, I've got a bit of a different video, video to show you today and from a different perspective as well I'm downstairs uh, in my back room because uh, my parents are away and I get to use the whole house so I thought I'd sit somewhere comfortable this time and do a video now as you've probably seen by the title of this video already it's about uh, Blu-rays and DVDs uh, I noticed that uh, Tino, I think it's 777 I think it's 777 <laughs> um, he, well not just him but um, a couple of video game collectors like to post their Blu-rays and DVD collections on there as well so I thought I'd give it a go. Now I've got all of my Blu-ray and DVD films so this will be, I don't know how long it will be but this is all my collection up to date. Now I've not bought any Blu-rays or DVDs for a while but um, I do plan on getting some again because uh, a lot of you game collectors out there probably will uh, be familiar with will relate to me when I say that um, you've not bought as many as you should because you've been buying games like you know, um, collecting games more so so that didn't come out right did it <laughs> um, Right, so I'll get I'll get to it. I'll just yeah, this is just basically my Blu-ray and DVD collection. Now, I am a big superhero fan, so these are in no particular order. So I'll just get to it. Uh, the first one I've got here is Hellboy. Now this is the Steelbook edition. I saw this. Um, going really cheap. I think it was about, uh, about five pound and yeah I'll pick that one up because um, it's a it's a decent film it's not the best superhero film but it's, it's, it's decent um, so that's the first one now uh, the second one I've got here is Iron Man and Iron Man 2 uh, Blu-ray collection. It's got, got the wrong way. Iron Man one and two. Not gonna open them up, but pretty good set. Two good films. I do love the Iron Man films, and I must admit, I watched. I haven't got. Well, the third one isn't out yet. But I watched the third one, and without giving anything away, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. But it's not as good as these two, in my opinion. But yeah, good films overall. Uh, next one Captain America, The First Avenger. I did really enjoy this, good film. And I'm looking for, forward to the the next one. Next one is Dread. Now it's called Dread 3D, but I never saw it in 3D. And this is this. This is actually I just realised <laughs> this is actually the the Blu-ray 3D and Blu-ray. So that's why it's 3D. But I didn't see it in Blu-ray. Uh, didn't see it in 3D, but it's a this is a really good film. Um, much better than I expected. It's it blows the original Judge Dredd film out of the water. It's brilliant. If you, if you thought the first Dredd film was a uh, Judge Dredd film was good, really do recommend seeing this one. Next one. Sin City. Not too much I can say about this one. Um, 
because I don't think I've watched it actually. <laughs> um, I might have, but I can't remember. But yeah, Sin City. <laughs> Next one, Scott Pilgrim. No, it's not superhero, but it, it's a comic book. Runs on a same similar line. Um, I actually, I really enjoyed. I did enjoy this. It's quite different. Um, I I do I do recommend this. It's a good film. It's sort of the film is like done in a way. So it's like comic booky, like video game style. Um, it's live action. It's not like anime. I'll just shut now because I'm no good at reviewing. But yeah, I did enjoy this. So <laughs> yeah. Next one, Kick-Ass, really good film, really, really good, and I really want to see the sequel in the cinema, which is out now, so, I, I you know, I can't wait to see it. <clears throat> uh, next is The Avengers, still book, edition. And uh I'll show you inside this one as well. I'm not gonna show you inside all of them, but just there's still books I want to show you. And this, the Avengers, for me, is the best superhero film made to date. And that that goes me saying something and I'm not I'm, I'm not a Marvel well, I do like Marvel, but I'm more I'm more DC comics. And for me, for me being a DC Comics fan over Marvel and saying Avengers is the best superhero film or something, it is amazing, really good film. If you've not seen it and you love superheroes, you've, you're not living. <laughs> really brilliant film. And I can't wait for the, the sequel, which is titled Avengers Age of Ultron. So I look forward to that. Next is, I think it's the only, no it's not, it's uh, one of met one of few DVDs that I've got, it's the X-Men Quadrilogy, um, it's got X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand and X-Men Origin of Wolverine. Uh, um, the X-Men films didn't really get much love uh, from comic book fans, but I really, I really enjoyed them. The only one that I didn't think was great was X-Men Origins Wolverine. Um, it was a mediocre film. I'd say that 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 as a push, that as a push, it was mediocre. It's all right, but it could have been done a lot better. But X Men One, Two, and Three, I enjoyed. Uh, next is Thor. This one's still sealed. Um, I have seen it, but I bought this on Blu-ray and I haven't seen it on Blu-ray yet. Um, really good film, really enjoyed it. Um, another Marvel film. Don't know why I said it was Marvel because I haven't said any of the others, but yeah, really enjoyed that one. I'm not going to bother mentioning much about these films because uh, unless I really do know what I'm talking about because I'm messing up my words. Uh, <laughs> Next one is Watchmen. This is really good. I, I really did enjoy this. Um, it's made by Zack Snyder, I think, if I'm correct. Yeah. Who's, who did the Man of Steel film, which I also loved. And I can't wait for that to come out on Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, really quite dark comic book film. Um, 
not for children to watch either. It's you know, quite violent, as I said, dark. I loved it, and this is the special edition, which I got. It was I picked out for really cheap online. Really good film. Next is Fanboys. Uh, this is a comedy. It's a spoof slash like. Well, it's about a film about fanboys basically. Star Wars fanboys. And uh, I won't go too much detail, but it is a funny film. It's pretty decent. Not amazing, but it's, it's pretty good. Next, Paul. Funny film. I do love my comedies as well as superhero films, and this is a funny film. Really good. Next, Star Trek. Now I know <clears throat> um, there is especially one of my subscribers who. <laughs> won't agree with me here, agree with me, when I say it is a really good film. <laughs> um, I loved it. Um, it's, I, I thought, yeah, I thought it was really good. Uh, I do, I do enjoy, uh, I didn't just, I'm not a new Star Trek fan, I do, I have enjoyed the series, and I haven't seen many, t too many of the actual old films though, to be honest, but I did really enjoy this and I do, I haven't seen the sequel yet, which I do want to see. Uh, right, next, <laughs> bit different, this one, The Muppets. As a kid, I love The Muppets. I used to, oh, I used to love watch I watched on TV so much, and this is a really good. It's a really good film actually. It's got all the old characters in it, and it also stars Jason Segel and Amy Adams, who I like. And yeah, it's it's, it's funny. It brings back old memories of the old uh, cartoon uh, anime. Animated? It's not animated, is it? Oh, shoot me. <laughs> the old show. Yeah, really good. Next. these, As I said, these are in no particular order. Just as I pick them up. Is the Lord of the Rings trilogy Blu-ray set. Good stuff. <laughs> That's all I say. It is really good. Um, all three, all uh, yeah. This is a trilogy uh, of Lord of the Rings, and uh, yeah, really good films. If you like your fantasy sort of style films, do recommend these. Uh, I did enjoy The Hobbit as well, and I want to see the sequel to it. Uh, next, um, Inception. Uh, people have, people, some people hate this and don't get it. I loved it. I love Christopher Nolan films and I love Leonardo DiCaprio films. So, a winner for me. Really did enjoy it. Totally different from any other film. Makes you think. Really good. I do love films that do make you think at the end, and you're like, you know, <sighs> and then you have to watch it again and again. <laughs> uh, next, Green Zone. <clears throat> again, again. Uh, well, Matt Damon, I love Matt Damon films. I've got quite a lot, well, quite a few of his. And this is another film that actually does, 
trying to make you think um, if it's true in real life. So if it's um, yeah action, um, yeah action thriller. That's what it is. Sorry. <laughs> I do recommend this as well. If you like your action films and you love Matt Damon, watch this. Don't know how long this video is going on for, but um, if it goes on longer than uh, I hope, then uh, this could be fun uploading <laughs> and editing. Uh, next film, one of my favourite films, and Leonardo DiCaprio, Shutter Island. Really good film, loved it. Um, can't say much more than that really it, this film also does make you think <laughs> about the ending really do recommend watching this brilliant film uh, next is The Dark Knight or Batman Begins and The Dark Knight uh, double bundle uh, Blu-ray Brilliant films. <coughs> um, what can I say, really? Um, Batman, his origin of him growing up and becoming Batman. Um, Dark Knight, classic with the late Heath Ledger as Joker. Both brilliant films. <clears throat> Next, Avatar. Must buy film for me. When I watched this in the cinema, I was blown away. As soon as it came out on Blu ray, I bought it like day one. And there's been quite a few, I think there's been a couple of uh, different editions of this, but this was the first one that came out on Blu ray. Uh, Blu ray and DVD, this is combo. Really good film. Really good. Not much to say else about it, but if you've not heard about it, go and look it up. Watch the trailer. Some people have actually um, don't don't think it's great, and I think it's a rip off of um, what film was it? They said it was a rip off. Rip off of um, Dances with Wolves. I think it was. He said it was a rip off of, but. I don't know, I can't remember watching Dance of the Wolves, but I love this, it's brilliant. <clears throat> Getting a dry mouth here. Alright, this one's totally different from the rest as well. Into the Wild. Now, a friend of mine told me about this film, and so I, I rented it and watched it and I loved it from the moment I got into got involved in it it's like an adventure um, and it's inspired by a true story it's about this guy who he gets really good grades in school you know he's and he gets given a car by his parents and he just doesn't want all that any of that you know, he chops up his credit cards, his debit cards, he, he doesn't care about his exam results, he doesn't want a, any education, he just sets off backpacking into the wild. That's all it is, and it's a breath of fresh air, honestly. You watch this, and it will change your mind about things. But it did certainly me. Um, but I've not gone backpacking yet. <laughs> Nah, it's it's brilliant, brilliant film, inspired by true events. Much what I uh, really do recommend watch, watching this if you've not seen it. Into the wild. <clears throat> uh, next, the depart the departed. This is sealed, but I've already seen this. Um, really good film. Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, and Mark Wahlberg. Great cast there, alone. Uh, it's a. Um, I just sum this up. Rookie cop. Uh, it's a cop 
film. Um, I'm trying to ex explain this. I'm no good really at explaining films. Um, I can't explain this. Look it up. Really good film. Watch a trailer. <laughs> it's a must watch, honestly. I told you I'm crap at bloody explaining films. Unless I really, I'm a really, really into the film, then uh, I can't really give you a good explanation. But I did love this. Not, not say I didn't get involved in it. I did, but just uh, I need to watch it again actually. Cause I think I've only watched it once, but I loved it, so I had to buy it straight away. <laughs> uh, next, another seal, seal the uh, Blu-ray that I got. <laughs> I haven't opened yet. The Adjustment Bureau. Matt Damon again, just because it was Matt Damon really I bought this. I did love the film anyway as well. Um, it's a romantic, mind bending film, just because I read the back. <laughs> um, no, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say much about it, but must watch if you're a Matt Damon fan. Next, actually, these three I'll do together because they're uh, pretty much all the same. Well, Born Identity, Born Supremacy, Born Artemisium. Born Artemisium. One of the best trilogies ever. Oh, Born Identity alone is one of the best films ever made, in my opinion. I love the whole Jason Bourne, um, he's an ex, ex, uh, hitman, rediscovering his identity, and, uh, yeah, it, it's brilliant, great films, all three of them, if you've not seen them, please watch, <laughs> again, Matt Damon is brilliant in this, um, great stuff. Next, another silver one. <laughs> Blood Diamond, Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, it got five Academy Award nominations. It's a ex. He's an ex mercenary turned smuggler. Um, I think it's actually based. Well. Kind of based on kind of true events, I think. But watch a trailer. Really good film. I'm not gonna say much else because I haven't really, I can't really explain it. <laughs> um, next film. Next one. The other guys. Comedy. I picked this up because it was cheap and I did enjoy it anyway. First of all, I am a big Will Will Ferrell film. I'm a big Will Ferrell film. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh. Oh, when I've been talking too much, I just lose track of my words. Um, I'm a big Will Ferrell fan. Although I've not got many of his films on Blu-ray and, and DVD, I've watched pretty much all of his stuff. And I need to get more of his uh, films. And it also has Mark Wahlberg in, who's really good in this. It's uh, Back to Cops, really. Um, and it's a, a comedy. Really good. Quite a funny film. Really good. Oh, I need to take a breath. Um, next. No, I'm going to show these both together. Actually, no, I won't. I'll do the first one. DVD. Green Lantern First Flight, animated film. Uh, something you don't know about me. I am a big Green Lantern fan. Uh, DC Comics hero. I've read a lot of the comics. And I have figures. And I have the films. This is really good. Um, shows the origin of Green Lantern. And how he became Green Lantern. Well, Green Lantern... It's not one superhero, it's a group of intergalactic space cops 
that I get chosen to wear the ring. I'm not going to get too much into it. Um, but Hal Jordan, this is based on Hal Jordan, this Green Lantern. Shows you how, how he got the ring, all about the lanterns. Um, really good animated film. Uh, next is Green Lantern Emerald Knights, the second animated film. Um, really good film, again, shows you uh, about the Green Lantern core. Um, yeah, really good animated film. And then next, similar, leading, leading along the same line, Green Lantern, the live action film, uh, starring Ren Ryan Reynolds. Now, because I read the comics before this, and um, I was obviously a big Green Lantern fan, when I heard they were doing a a movie I was thrilled to bits you couldn't I couldn't explain how thrilled I was for them to actually be doing a film based on the comic that I love um, <clears throat> when I saw it in the cinema I thought it was good um, I just had my my own bad opinions about it as well as much as I really wanted to love this and say it was amazing because of uh, the comic book character that I loved. I was kind of disappointed. Um, I won't say much about it because I don't want to give any spoilers away. But it was alright, it was good. Just not as good as any of the other uh, comic book films. But still, enjoyable. For what, for what, for what it was, it was enjoyable. Uh, last one. Oh. <clears throat> the Dark Knight Rises. <clears throat> this is actually, I think, the last one I picked up as well. Yeah, I think it would have been. Um, not much to say, really. Uh, concludes the Batman trilogy. Uh, Christopher Nolan films. Christian Bale. Uh, it was good, it was good, I did enjoy this, but for me it wasn't as good as the previous Batman films. In the order that I liked the Batman films, I'd say The Dark Knight was the best, and then Batman Begins, and then this one. Um, I've got my own opinions about it, but I won't go into it. Um, but yeah, still good, still decent for what it was. And uh, that concludes my film collection. Now I know it's not huge, but um, a while back, this is going back a while now. I had loads and loads of DVDs. And I decided to get rid of all my DVDs and buy them again as Blu-rays. And I've got rid of all my DVDs now, all of them, like, apart from the ones here. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I got quite a few of them again on Blu-ray. So I'm, I'm still currently building up my Blu-ray collection, so, um, <clears throat> I also just remembered that I've forgotten to show you some other, some other, um, DVDs that I got, uh, I'll tell you about it, I won't actually show you, but I've got, um, Christopher Reeve, a Christopher Reeve collection DVD set, and that, that I won't, I won't get rid of, because, it's 
it's amazing, it's like that thick <laughs> and I can't remember how many discs it's got I think seven, seven discs, maybe nine I think, or more really good set it is uh, <clears throat> the other uh, DVD collection thing I've got is um, I've got the the Alien um, anthology on DVD and that's really good as well uh, you can actually get it on Blu-ray now, um, but yeah, uh, that is all my collection up to date. Now, as I said, I know my channel is mainly video games, but you know, I thought I'd start showing you Blu-rays and DVDs that I get, and yeah, I thought I'd share with you my collection. It's not big, but uh, that's what she said. <laughs> but you know, it's I'm gonna continue to buy more Blu-rays when I'm not buying video games. That is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will be having a new having. We'll be getting a new pickup video uh, to you soon. I'm expecting a few more games in the post and it's going to be a good one guys. If you've not uh, if you've not liked my Facebook page I'll put a link to below because um, on my Facebook page I give away updates on my YouTube channel and I'm really excited to show you this next pickup video because there's some really nice games coming I've spent quite a bit and <laughs> put it this way I'm I've I'm I can't buy any more games for a while <laughs> so yeah uh, look out for that one and uh, thanks again for watching this video I know it's a bit different than usual, but I like to uh, mix things up now and then. And I'll uh, catch you on the flip side. Don't know what that means, but I've heard it said, so peace. <laughs>